What's going on Simplifiers? Welcome back to Dennis Simplifies. In today's video on numerical methods, we are going to go through the Adams Bashford Martin Predictor Corrector Method. <laughs> Alright friends, so sit back, relax, and as you already know, let's simplify. <laughs> So this is the question that we are using the fourth order Adams Bashford Morton Predictor Corrector method. <laughs> Evaluate y to 0 0.8 if y y prime equals x and x given the interval of 0 to 0 0.8, y's initial value being 1, the step length h being 0 0.2, and then the stopping criteria is 0 0.001. Compute the necessary previous values using the earlier method. Alright friends, so from the question, you are supposed to use the Adams Bashford Morton Predictor Corrector method. So before we even start, let's see the values you've been given. Let's make use of the values you've been given. We have the step length to be 0 0.2 from here, and then our, our interval to be 0, 0.0 0 to 0 0.8. So from there we can draw our table. So we have our table here where the is being 0 0.2. And then the x starting from 0 to 0 0.8. You see, we keep adding the 0 0.2 to them to get to 0 0.8, which is our last value. So we have from x0 to x4. Again, we have our first y value, which is 1. So we have y0 equals 1. So you put that one also in here. All right. So before we even start the Adams Bashford Morton Predator Corrector method, we first have to start using the Adams Bashford method, right? So you start from the Adams, Adams Bashford method. Right, so in our previous video, we used the Adams Bashford method with the Ranji Kuta method. Now we are using the Adams Bashford method with the Erla method. So here, this is going to be our Adams Bashford method. Now we are using the fourth order Adams Bashford method, right? In the previous video, we did the third order Adams Bashford method. So this is the formula for the fourth order Adams Bashford method, okay? All right, so from here, you can see that we have. Uh, H, Y, and then F1, blah, 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 stuff. Okay, so this is the whole force. So this is a predictor. It is going to help us predict a particular value, right? So it's a predictor, predict, okay? So let's move on. So again, we are supposed to compute for the previous values using the earlier method. So we have to find some values in here, right? So remember that in our previous video, we used the Ranjikuta to find the initial values, right? And then from there, we used Adams Bashford to continue from there. Now, in this case, we are using the error method to find these initial values, and then we will continue from there, right? So, from the error method, this is the table we have. So if you go back to my video on the error method, this is the values that we generated. If you want to learn more on how we generated these values, please go back to my video on the error method, and then learn how we got these values. So, as we said before, when we were using the Adams, Adams Bashford, we said that this Adams Bashford is going to take its initial values from this single step method, which in this case is the earlier method. So it's going to take the values from this earlier method and then it's going to continue from there, right? So we're going to have a table this way. It's going to pick the values from this earlier method and then insert them into the Adams Bashford table. So this is the table we had before. Now we are filling it with the earlier method's values, right? Now from the question, we're supposed to find for when y when y is what 0 0.8 okay so that's going to be the last value which is when 0 0.8 over here so we get back to finding this y4 for the 0 0.8 so let's come back here to the table to the formula so with adams bashford here so we are going to for this y4 this is how we are going to do it so let me explain it in in summary we are first going to predict a particular value for the y4 right once we're able to predict a value for it then we are going to perform iterations to correct this value so that the value becomes almost correct, almost 100% correct, almost, almost 100% correct, or even 100% correct. So first, we are going to use the Adams Bashford method to predict the value. Once we predict a particular answer for the Y4, then we are going to use the Adams Morton formula to correct this value until it becomes almost perfect. All right, so that's what we are going to do it. So again, let's define this f function here. From the formula y, y prime equals x. When we make y prime the subject, we are going to get x i and then y i. That is from here. If you make y prime, then we're going to get x on y. And then the function is going to be defined by x i, y i for the iterations. So as you go along, you understand more of this. So let's continue. So first, 
we are going to predict a value for this y4 okay for this y4 now in order to predict a value for the y4 value over here we have to set i to be equal to what to be equal to 3 so when i is 3 we can start predicting a value for y4 right so the predictor for y4 is going to be when i is 3 plus 1 is going to be 4 then we can predict a value for y4 all right then after that we use the adams Morton formula to correct it so let's move on to the prediction so let's predict a value we are saying that when i is equal to 3 we are going to predict a value for y4 right so we are going to get a formula this way so y4 and this is what we have here when i is 3 so we want to predict a value now from here we can see we have f3 f2 f1 and f0 so let's find for these values and once you find these values we can and also know the value for h and y3 we can come to this formula insert the values and then find them we know the value for y3 from the table we know y3 is equal to 1.117 right we know h to be 0 0.2 right that's the interval between this 0 0.2 and let's find for this f value so for f0 we know that we have f is going to be x0 y0 from the top here right it's going to be x0 y0 that's i when i is 0 for here so for the f0 it's going to be 0 so x0 over y0 then we get what's the value for x0 x0 is 0 right and then the y0 is equal to 1 so 0 divided by 1 we get 0 then again we find for f f1 f1 is going to be x1 and then y1 so x1 is 0 0.2 and then y1 is 1 we divide them and then we get 0 0.2 again we find for f2 f2 is going to be x2 and then y2 we get 0. Point, or at least i'm using the wrong table so it's going to be 0 0.385 divided by the x the y3 value which is going to be so the y2 value which is going to be 1.04 all right so i think it's, it's correct so we have 0 0.4 right for the x2 and then y2 is going to be 1.04 for the f y2 here. and then we get our f2 value then next we find for our f3 values right so it's going to be x3 y3 which is 0 0.6 right divided by 1.117 right then we find for the f3 so now that we have our values for the f's and we know h we know y3 from the table to be 1.117 that means we can predict the value for this y4 so now let's predict the value so when we do our prediction we put everything inside the formula as we have calculated over here and when we predict it, we are going to get the prediction to be 1.23611 we are predicting that the value at y4 is going to be 1.23611 right so now that we have been able to predict it now we can correct it using the adams morton formula so this is the adams bashford morton predictor corrector so we have first used the adams bashford to predict it now using the adams morton to correct it so this is the value that we have so with this value we are going to correct this value all right so again we are dealing with the same y4 value right so the same i is still going to be three so that we can correct this y4 value right this is the formula we have for so we are correcting the y4 right the y4 is this going the y is going to be for if i is 3 so we are correcting this value that we have so we're going to get y3 plus h on 24 9 then the function of x4 and then the value that we had for the y for the predictor that we just found right that value plus 19 f3 minus 5 f2 plus f1 right we know the values for f3 and f2 and f1 from the previous calculations right so we don't have to do it again just pick the value we know the value for f3 f2 and f1 we did it in our previous calculations now the only issue here is that for the function we know that we are taking x4 from the table x4 is 0 0.8 and then we are taking the y value to be the predictor we found our predictor to be 1.23611 so this predictor and then we are using the function right so we are dividing them this function we are dividing so when we divide it and then we solve for it we are going to get our correct our first corrector value 1.236 all right so now we have been able to correct the value from 1.23611 to 1.236 now let's see can we correct it further right can we further correct it if it is possible then let's try so we're going to try another iteration to see can we further correct this value right so for the second iteration, we want to try again. So again, we are going to use the same formula y4 for the same y value, right? The y3 h14. Now again, we are using the predictor, sorry, the corrector value that we had, which is the one point, the 1.2, 1.236, 
right we're going to use that value over here plus 19 f3 f2 f1 we know the values for these f's already right so we're going to put them inside so the value that we corrected we want to see can we further correct that value so we had a 1.236 we want to see can we further correct this 1.236 so we were using the x4 and then the corrector the one that we just had for the second iteration can we further correct it so let's see now when we do the computations we can see that we are still getting 1.236 even though we wanted to further correct it it's like we are still getting the 1.236 so which means that we can actually stop our iterations over here and then take the 1.236 as our final answer for y4 because it looks like we can't further correct it that's like the final one right so with our stopping criteria we can say that the difference between the first iteration and the second iteration is actually zero because the first iteration we had 1.236 the second iteration for the correction we still had 1.236 so you can see that even though we are trying to correct it we tried and then the, 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 the difference was zero. So we are actually stopping over here, right? And we are going to take this 1.236 as our final answer for when y is 0 0.8. So we can put this value inside our table for y4, right? And then this is going to be our final table. So friends, with the Adams Bashford Morton, Adams Bashford Morton predictor corrector method, it is a multi step method. So first, we, we we included the error method to, to fill up a portion of our table so that we can continue with Adams 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 Bashford from there. So when we continued from there, what we, what we did is that we predicted a particular value. And after predicting that value, we wanted to correct it using the Adams Morton formula. So you can see that we first used a single step method, which is the Euler method, filled our table, then used the Adams Mort Adams Bashford to predict a value. And after predicting that value, we use the Adams Morton to correct that value. You see, and we perform several iterations to make sure that the, the value that we are actually correcting is actually on point. All right. So, friends, that's basically it or the general idea about the multi step method for the Adams Bashford Morton predictor corrector method. So, all the best in the exams. See you on the other side. Until next time. Make sure, make sure, make sure you like, you share, and then you subscribe, all right? And then leave your questions in the comment section. Until next time, apart, yeah.